Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Danny Chavez versus Ricardo Ramos or the Ricardo Ramos or I'm going to call him Ricardo Ramos because at this point I'm just butchering it. So I know some people correct me and sometimes I get it wrong every single time with this one, but Ricardo Ramos, Ricardo Ramos. And Chavez versus Ricardo Ramos. I see this one. Ramos is taller. I think more well-rounded, more skilled, more accomplished. I think he's just better in every area than Chavez. At the point. I think Chavez has more of a, you know, damaging threat. He deals more damage. He's heavier handed, heavier footed. Just a heavier hitting fighter. But has shown, definitely shown cardio issues. Definitely has shown a little bit of IQ issues. But Ricardo Ramos has been around for a good little minute now. You know, he got his feet wet and he's, you know, gained that experience. And he has won some decent, like, quality fights. Whereas Donnie Chavez came on, had a pretty good win over TJ Brown, and since then has not really looked the same. So, yeah, I don't know how to really feel about him. I just think he had, does have a potential, some potential good shot in this one. But ultimately, I don't feel like it's going to be a case where he's going to just run through at any point, even at his freshest. I don't think he's going to be everybody in a point where he's going to be better than Ramos. I feel like he could potentially come out stronger than Ramos. I feel like that could be a case. He could potentially come out stronger than Ramos. But it's going to be a case where he's going to be able to come out strong enough and then be able to carry that through three rounds from what I've seen from him. I feel like. Even trying to say he's going to come out and win the first round, maybe a little bit of stretch. But I feel like it's very much in the margin of possibility. But I feel like, you know, probably a good first round, whether he wins it or not. That's his best, probably his best round he looked the freshest in. But outside of that, I think Ramos just starts to just put it on him later on. And the fight starts to go on. He starts to fade. I think Ramos starts to, like, threaten with the takedowns more. It just really looks to mix it up and make, you know, just make him work. You got a guy that don't have, that can't really push a pace, can't maintain a pace, got cardio issues. Just push the pace on him. Look to mix it up. Stay long as well, like stay long at distance and try to work inside, get some takedowns, hold him in his cage. And just, like I said, just simply put a value, make him work in the striking, make him work in the grappling, and just wear on him and beat him to a decision. So in this one, I got Ricardo Hamos via decision.